to another episode of How I. Thank you for all your questions um, of what you might like these videos to be. Jess, we're doing your video today. Wow, look how regal Maggie looks. She's on her voyage. Oh, she's over it. Today's How I from Jess is... <laughs> Tricked you, right? Thinking it was yeah, just me. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna. Be, I thought it was just gonna be you. I was over here deeply, pensively looking out the question. Focus here, everyone. <laughs> His hands are on the wheel. He's focusing. Um, we're ready to go. So. Oh my gosh! Safety first. <laughs> Wait, but on the wheel. A lot Not of people said wheel. that. You said safety first, and then take your hands off the wheel. What you like? A little inside joke. <laughs> um, Jess, thank you so much for short, so much for short, brilliant. Thank you so much for your question. I back have, to ones, back to ones. I have my caffeine here. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so Zachary, the yes. Abel, yes. star of Easy Does. <laughs> um, how did we meet? I'm telling the story? Well, I think we should both tell it. Oh, okay. Do you? Yeah, but I thought you were just, um, well, it was, uh, 2012, can you believe it, eight years ago, over eight years ago. Wait, you <coughs> about eight year anniversary already? We did, because we got engaged on seven and seven. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Um, um, how did we meet? Well, we met. Do you at, want me to? Why work? don't you say your journey to doing how we met, and then I'll say mine quickly, and then my journey to how we met. Yeah. Um. Well, it was 2012. It was pilot season, and um, a couple of months before pilot season, I actually read about this new J.J. Abrams. Explain what pilot season is. Pilot season is like uh, from January to March, or at least it used to be. Uh, where all of the broadcast television shows would get, um, they would get cast. And so the pilot is, is on the wheel, FYI. It is. <laughs> uh, at least my wrist is. Um, and that's the pilot is like the first episode of a TV series. And so typically a network will produce X amount of pilots and then like they pick their winners and those uh, get an initial order and then you would get what's called a back end um, if your like premiere does well on your first few episodes do well then like you get the additional nine and that was like on a traditional <laughs> TV model because that's what people would say <laughs> that's on the, the wheel, wheel. Um, so that's it's just a really busy time for super actors super busy at least traditionally yeah, but maybe like not so now, crazy, now. but crazy, then crazy. it was mad you'd have so many auditions a day you'd have 10 to 14 auditions a day You'd, um, all these, all the networks were casting their pilots, and each network what would have like twelve pilots, and maybe pick up four. I think that they used to produce like twenty or thirty pilots oh, really? apiece. Yeah, it was a lot, wow. and then they would pick up uh, whatever you know, like if they needed slots to fill in the yeah. programming schedule, then they would um, they would pick them up, and then they would be on the air in the fall. Like that's what. So it's like, kind of the time shield... that you think that you might get. Um, uh, cast in something. It's basically like when your life can dramatically change. It's yeah. like the most intense period of the year. Yes. Uh, and so like you're always, everyone's trying to be in their best shape. Like anyone who doesn't live in America flies in for like this six or eight weeks. This hand is now on the wheel. Uh, yeah. Something's been working out. Um, anyways, it was pilot season. It was crazy busy. Uh, it was also like around the time of my mom's 70th birthday. And so I, I distinctly remember I went in for this pilot called Shelter. Uh, it was produced by Bad Robot, which is J.J. Uh, Abrams' production company. Big boys. Uh, big boys. It was like super, super secretive. I think I it was think the like first... they are the big boys. I don't think. Is there a movie called? They didn't produce big boys. Bad boys. I think <laughs> big boys, big boys. Um... Maybe they so did was, produce big boys then, I don't know. Yes, and it was uh it was it was JJ Abrams Bad Robot and Mark Schwann who was just coming off of One, One Tree, Tree Hill. Hill. And so it was with the CW. <clears throat> it took place at a hotel, which I was like super obsessed with hotels even then. I mean I'm still obsessed with them. 
Monkey Mouse. Monkey Mouse. You saw it. You saw. You went in early on in the casting, right? I actually saw the release of when they, de the, when they decided they were going to develop it the fall before, and then I went in super early. I was right off Make It or Break It, so like, there's always people who are kind of like that they're going to see sooner, and those are people who are coming off of series, and so I was in that sort of mix at the time. So I went in like end of January, beginning shout of February. Shout out to Make It or Break It. Yeah, shout out to my OB. Um, and I went in and I thought it was fine. Like I had to sign an NDA, which is like a non-disclosure agreement. It was one of the first that I'd ever. They were done. crazy on that. I mean, a lot of pilots are like that, but there was a lot of secrecy around this pilot. And I mean, it was the biggest pilot, arguably one of the biggest pilots of the season. It was one of the bigger pilots. It was pilots. JJ. Yeah, it was JJ. Yeah, and, and it was like, you know, it was, it was pretty much like a surefire gonna go to series is what everyone kind of thought just because of the auspices that were behind it. Auspices, um, word of the day. Boy, there you go. And I went in in like late Jan, early Feb and never heard a thing. Like we couldn't get any feedback. You, you felt like you did a great job as well, didn't I felt you? Like, I felt like I hit a home run. Like I felt like it was pretty good. And I thought I would at least go see producers because it was uh, cast by Nancy Mayer and it was um, just on tape. And at that time, I mean, that's eight years ago, like, you typically would always go back for producers. Like, they wouldn't cast you just off tape. That was traditionally how it was done. It's a little different now. And then now. where did you go with your mom? So then, so then my mom was in town. It was the end of um, pilot season. It was the end of pilot season. We went out, uh, like, I heard that I was going to go back in. So I, on her birthday, I got an announcement, actually, an email sent to me that was like, hey, you actually, we haven't found the guy. We want to see you again. So I go back in. I end up getting... This was getting so close to the wire of when the pilot was due I think you were, like, Lil was already cast. Well, you're just giving the game away. I know, I'm sorry. For goodness um, sakes. I think a lot of people know. But anyways, the, the well, story really leading not. up to it... <laughs> the story leading up to it was, uh, it was mid-March, and... They still hadn't cast it. And like most productions during it was pilot due season, to start are like the end of March, early April. So yeah. this was getting down to the wire, and they hadn't found their lead man. Yeah, the lead guy. And uh, I go in. I remember like running into Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood is Clint Eastwood's son, and he was in the waiting room um, right ahead of me. And he goes in. He was in there for a really long time. And I was like, "Son of a gun, freaking this is blah blah blah." Uh, he comes out. I go in and felt like I absolutely crushed it. And I got, I remember getting a note. But was this when you had the call to come back from being away if your mom's No, birthday? no, no, no. Uh, this was like the producer session. Okay, right, right. Uh, and this like was Kathy how long Ling. after your first session? This was six weeks six after weeks. it. Like never heard a single Didn't thing. Didn't hear one peep. Uh, went in. Which is quite normal. Yeah, but like in pilot season, it's like basically if you don't hear pretty immediate, then it's just not going to go your way. Like, they're casting so quickly and yeah. you're moving through the system so fast um, that this was unusual and I kind of knew that. So when I got it again, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is destiny. Like, it's going to happen. Went in, absolutely crushed it. And the one, I remember the note that I got was everyone is doing this, like, there was a huge monologue and it, they're like, everyone's doing this. You're looking doing at the road, aren't you? Because we yeah. can't tell because of your sunglasses. Yeah, looking at the road. This is me looking at you. Why don't you um, take your sunnies off so people can see your eyes? Fox is so bright. Too bright, too bright. Um, I remember getting a note, and that note, I was like, oh, I know I hit it. Because they were like, you could actually take your time a little bit more with this one speech. And I was just kind of like just, pot, like just mowing through it. And I knew on that note, and then I did it again, and I just felt this energy in the room, and I was like, I nailed it. I was like, I absolutely booked it's this so thing. It's so good, that feeling, isn't it, when you go, yes, that was it, I hit it, and everybody feels it. Yeah. I go out, I, I leave, hey, thank you so much, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go outside, I've been able to park. Oh, and the hand is on the wheel, FYI. Yeah. And Nancy Nair's office, at least it used to be on Commodore Sloan. It's like one of the hardest places to park in all of Los Angeles. And I had found a spot right out front that I was like, man, everything's working out. <laughs> and what happens? I get outside. There's a parking ticket on my car. And I was like, son of a... And I like, I, I actually said a bad word. And um, the, the, the window of the audition office like opens. They like pop their head out. And they're like, did you get, did you get a ticket? And I was like, oh... I'm so sorry about that. Like you didn't, you know, remember being like, bad. Yeah, Don't like, remember, remember this. this is this is the, the, the yeah. I did, yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, well, we feel so bad for it. And they ran down. This has never oh, happened. That's so they nice. took the ticket and they paid for my parking ticket. Oh. Which like when is that ever? I was like, 
booked it. A hundred percent booked it. <laughs> have a movie star now. Uh, yeah, two days later, uh, not gonna go your way. They have their pick offers out. I was like, are you serious? Flash forward. And that's kind of it. Pilot season then is over. Yeah, it's like it's done. Like there aren't any more roles for me. So, uh, two and you weeks. you kind of think back then you were like, okay, I might not work for the rest of the year now. Because so yeah. much is cast in pilot season yeah. that the odds of you booking outside of pilot season are, are pretty low. Certainly a role of like that magnitude is going to occupy 10 yeah, months of your year. Chances, and, and, yeah. and like maybe you do some guest stars or recurs or whatever, yeah. chance of whatever yeah. but yeah. like that Something kind that of big. life yeah. changing. Yeah. Um, two weeks later, my mom was my mom and dad uh, and my cousin were still in town except they had gone to Palm Springs they're like you gotta just come out like relax a little bit and they were at a timeshare so I go out there and uh, how far away is Palm Springs you know like two LA? hours like two and a two half hours, hours. It's, not, it's not that far drive drive yeah yeah so we're on the 10 driving back and uh, I remember like I was in the car with my mom talking with her it's just two weeks later you and your mom are best buds yeah besties get a phone call well i i end up like f like finding my phone like in traffic and we've been driving for like an hour and i look down i have like all of these missed calls from my agent and manager and i was like what is this and like i look at i i put the voicemail on that I, that, that they left and it's like zach you're testing for shelter um it's come back around what time is this this is like nine in the morning or something we were driving and like they were driving straight to the airport to fly home and I was just driving back to LA and my mom's in the car with me and I was like oh my god like are I can't believe like, this day? is crazy yeah they're like you're testing today where are you we're trying to get a hold of you <laughs> and uh I I get back they're like just I was like well I'm, I'm on I, I call them back I'm on the road back from Palm Springs uh, I probably won't be there for like two hours. Like, when's the test? They're like, it's supposed to be at noon. I was like, are you serious? Like, how is this? Ha like, how's this happening right now? At noon. At noon. I was like, I was gonna basically and you're in Palm drive. Springs at nine a.m. Yeah, it's in like shorts and a t-shirt, like oh driving. But I was like, well, I guess I, guess I, I have to go back when home and change. When you eating cake all weekend and drinking beer because you're like, well, pilot season. Pilot done. season's over. Yeah. Yeah. I'd actually been working on my flop shot, my bunker work, on one of the golf courses nearby. But oh, sure, sure, sure. my farmer's tan going. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Long story short, I get back to LA. They're like, don't worry about the test. They're gonna use your tape from your last producer session. So the one where I felt like I had hit an absolute home run. And I just worked on the CW as well. I was on a show called Secret Circle. So like Great they show. knew me. Yeah. Um, anyways, they're like, we're gonna tell you tonight, the test deal is out, the contract is through. Like, you know, sign on the dotted line, so blah, blah, blah. you didn't blah. have to do anything else, actually. No, so I just got back home. I, like, packed all... They're like, just pack your bags because you'll be flying out tonight if you book it. Tonight. It's like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. So... Yeah, because production had already started. They just couldn't find that guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, guy. Yeah, yeah, so then, much. So then what happens? You go home, you're freaking out, you drop your parents at the, off at the airport. You my parents you... just went, like, we actually pulled off the side of the road because they had to go straight to the airport, and I needed to go home to change to go to the test. So, like, we pulled off of the 10 went someplace like into a parking lot what's your dad and, driving uh, separately yeah yeah they uh -oh. were in separate cars <laughs> you just left them cars. on the side of the road find your way to yeah the <laughs> there's no uber or anything but like work it out um they would have done as well they would have done yeah they're amazing uh long story short well actually i'll, I'll give you one other piece of uh piece of information and we're coming to a stop uh that night i remember that friends of mine, the Cougar Brothers, were performing at this club in Hollywood, I, and I, I went and met up with them. And guess who was there? <gasps> Chloe Bennett. Oh. Chloe was there, and um, Katie. Katie, who's on the bold type. Gosh, what is her last Stevens. name? Stevens. Stevens. Katie well, Stevens was there now, as well. So. Yeah, so. Anyway. Katie Stevens, I, I remember meeting up with Katie Stevens and, uh, and Chloe, and being like, oh, I'm freaking. Well, yeah, we're stopped. We're stopped. Yeah, I was stopped. like, I'm freaking testing for this thing. I can't believe it. And I'm like waiting right now. Like I could get a call and like fly on a red eye. Uh, call doesn't That's come. So fun. I bet you Chloe remembers that conversation. Oh, 100%. Yeah. She remembers everything. Uh, next day, I go home, never get a call. Next day, I wake up. I was like, well, I didn't get it. Hands on the wheel, <clears throat> even if we're st standing still. It's okay. Not nice. um, long story short, I end up booking shelter. They popped me on a flight that had to go through San Francisco. I heard Wait, so like. Wait, you get the call when? The next. 
morning. It was like afternoon. Oh, I wake so up. Like, I call my agent, my manager. So all the time like, you're thinking it's not ring, the phone's not ringing. I was like, yeah, I tested for. They, they told me there was I was testing against one other person, and they were putting an offer out again to another person while they had me in a test deal. So like, this is how it typically goes. It's yeah. like you never know, like if you're the first choice, second choice, like whatever. Um, I end up booking it that afternoon. Go to the airport. My flight gets delayed. And they were flying me through San Francisco. And uh, I get to San Francisco after my red eye had departed. So I had to spend the night in San Francisco. Then fly straight to Charlotte the next day with all of my stuff. I remember going to the stages and uh, going to do the hair and makeup test. And who's there? You went straight from the airplane to the hair and makeup test. Yeah. Yeah, wow. straight to. They had to do, because I was a baseball player. So I had to do, like, baseball training which I didn't really need to do um like all my fittings and I was like so when is this happening because this was I think Saturday I arrived on Saturday and they're like we start shooting tomorrow I was like what what and so that was uh April 1st was the day that we met yeah. in the hair and makeup trailer yeah and uh then it, we we shot the pilot for five days yeah. Did you fancy me? I mean, <laughs> I was so focused. I was like, oh, who's this? You know, and I'd seen your, I'd seen the press announcement because you were the only person cast in the show for quite a while. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, who's this, you know, Fox. Fox. So we met that first day in the tra in the hair and makeup trailer. You came in. Zach was number one. I was number three. So he was like the lead. And he, you were very good introducing yourself to everybody. And then we just kind of clicked and had this really nice kind of banter back and forth um and then uh and then um you know we were chatting throughout the pilot and all that stuff and kind of we, that was just such we a really bonded of, very quickly yeah but the other funny thing was is that you weren't british no so i'll tell my story very quickly to book it because we're at 17 minutes yeah i really went too long no no you didn't that was really interesting um so, I've said a little bit about how I became an actor, and I think uh, the reason I had this fire in my belly to get to LA, just which was very, fairly random from where I was at the time to think, oh my gosh, I, some, for some reason I need to be in LA. I believe it's so that I could meet Zachary Babe, the love of my life, oh. <laughs> along with Maggie, obviously, yeah, and some really great friends and family and everything. But, you know, I'd say my life partner. Um, I think eight that was years, the reason. Eight, eight years, years, I know, who knew, huh? Um, uh, uh, anyway, so that video is on there, which I think all of that was basically propelled so that I could book this pilot. Um, it was my pilot season. I'd never really auditioned that much before in England. And then you come to LA and pilot season is just absolutely, it's... Um, it's, it's crazy, it's manic. It's manic. Yeah. It's brilliant because as an actor, all you really want is the opportunity to get in that room and show what you can do in front of um, the people that make the decisions. So to be able to get auditions as an actor is amazing. And I was just learning so much. I had my little spreadsheet. I'd virgo out all my auditions. Um, when you have so many. And you booked so quickly. Like, she booked... Well, I first tested for a Fox yeah, pilot comedy. Crazy. That was so it's funny. So that was nuts. That was like the whole traditional way of going to having all the different rounds and going in front of the studio and being in front of all these like huge executives and super scary. That was Steve uh, Levit Levitan? Levitan from Modern Family. From Modern Family, yeah. Wow. Um, I didn't know that. He was super nice and just really really lovely and um, and kind and came out and spoke to us before and I was testing opposite people that had done just so much and I was an absolute unknown um, and he Which was just so lovely to me. Which is often a big advantage. Big advantage because you can kind of say, oh I'm huge in England, you just don't know me, I really have done anything. Anyway, um, didn't get that, thought well, you know, never. I was kind of crushed to not get that because it was such a cool pilot and you know it was booking a job um anyway so then later on going for nancy naya for shelter um i went in for a different role i went in for hannah's role to oh, start did with you? and then i then i think i read for grace who was my character's name um then i went in for that on a friday fairly early on i think this was like march no no you were cast i think in february no march i think, I think the cast, cast i think I, maybe i started auditioning in february but 
by the time I got the notice, it was Someone March. Google Elizabeth Hel Elizabeth Hel no, I think Elizabeth Hedstridge <laughs> shelter. We've had this before. Casting. I think it's anyway. Whatever. Um, I, February March 2012. I got the went in on a Friday. Uh, right in front of Mark Schwann. It wasn't like anything big. It was just in the office. It yeah. wasn't. Um, it was a produced session, basically. It wasn't was like a traditional test. Yeah, yeah, that's where mine was. Too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but usually you go to like the studio execs and there's so many different, I think because of the people behind it, they could just make the decision basically. It was the same way for S.H.I.E.L.D. I didn't go to Well, that's I think typically now and, how they, they do it. Well, yeah. the last test I had, I had to go into a... Uh, well, but you're, I think if you have a certain name behind it, like Mark Schwann or J.J. Abrams, yeah. they can just sort of make the decision in the room. Anyway, so I went in on Friday. We didn't hear anything. And then I called my reps. No, was it Thursday or Friday? Anyway. We didn't hear anything, and then I heard that they, you know, they really liked me, and that I was kind of in the mix for it. And then a couple of days later, they called in, and Nancy was like, "Oh, she booked it. We just forgot to tell you." <laughs> anyway, so then I booked it, and then I think a few, maybe five days later, I flew out to North South to Carolina, North Carolina, to North Carolina, North Carolina to Charlotte, to Charlotte <clears throat> uh, which is where we shot it. And I was there for a week before. I want to say having costume fittings meeting everybody we had the table read and we still didn't have mitch yeah, right yeah. we still didn't have our number one and uh, nobody really knew what was happening and you don't really ask any questions i was american in the pilot and so there was me that was british there was hannah new who's uh, british yeah, there was I Ika, who Ika was Ika who's australian yeah. so there was like um international cast and we were all playing american so they wanted us to speak in an american accent so as soon as we kind of went into any of the offices or touched down in north carolina they kind of asked us please stay in your american accent so that it doesn't stop to mount because when you're doing the pilot even when you're not shooting yeah even yeah. when we're not shooting yeah. because you know you you only have one shot to make this the best pilot could be basically and so they just wanted everybody to you know have as good an accent as possible so we do the table read still no number one yeah it's so crazy it's like they do not even do go all to our the fittings, table reads. we do yeah. all our stuff and then it's the first day of shooting and nobody knew of who our number one was who the leader of our show was uh, anyway so first day in the hair and makeup trailer I was absolutely hacking my pants um, and in walks and it was like oh my god is he cast he's not cast he's like, yes he landed last night I heard he landed you said like who is it do you know who it is there hadn't been any announcements yet and then in walks this angel this angel um and you were super nice and I remember just thinking you know, because it's kind of awkward when you meet someone in the hair and makeup trailer because you've got to like stay facing the front so that they can do your hair and makeup and it's a bit like, I think you kind of popped your head into the mirror so we were both looking in the mirror and like said hi and that's I was like hi. That's the easiest and, way to do it. Yeah, really. well and that's the way you should do it because you, yeah. you're not really meant to make somebody turn their head because then the makeup artist can't do what their doing. job. Yeah. Um, and then we had a scene, we should try to find this scene and see if we can just put it out. Anyway, what do you mean the scene? The scene where that we had our first scene together, and my stomach just dropped, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I was this in the this uh, the it like at, at the, the bar desk, area? And it was like in the foyer. I was like at the reception oh, desk. Oh, that was. And our... you came over, and then you said something flirty, and I was like, I, like my character was like, like a bit, and then walked off. Remember? And we were chatting about. Um, like in between I thought our tapes. first one was in the right side of the hotel. Like well, in maybe that this room. was when I first was like, "Oh no, Elizabeth, you're in trouble." Because we were chatting in between takes about uh, where you lived and your mom, and we were saying uh, we were talking about your mom's cooking or something. And then you said, "Well, you should just come. You should just come to Indiana and like, like, just come and visit us, and, and uh, like she'll cook you whatever we were talking about." And I was like, "All right," and I kind of meant it. And then you were like, "Okay." And then walked off and my, I was just, I said out loud, be careful Elizabeth, you're in trouble. Because my managers said, the, these are my brand new managers I just signed with in my first pilot season, they said, um, we're never gonna tell you how to live your life, but what do they say, like don't, 
on this pilot, have a good time, you know, let loose, whatever you want. Just don't, our only rule is just do not get romantically involved with anyone in the cast or don't anyone do in the it. crew. Because these things, if it gets picked up, you end up shooting in the middle of nowhere and you're potentially gonna see these people contractually, see these people every day for, you know, Shield we shot for six years. So seven. if you have a, six, seven seasons, six years. Um, if you have a fling with somebody, the likelihood is it's not gonna work out and then you're gonna be on set all day, every day. Yeah. It's just not awkward. very professional. Superawkward.com forward slash do not go there. That is the only rule. Anyway, what do I do? Start fancying the lead of the show. But I was like, no, 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 no. Obviously, like, let's keep this professional. I was in an American accent, so you didn't even really know what I sounded like. And then on then on the rap party, I ended up bringing out the old English charm. Yeah, you did. You just whipped it out. Whipped it out. And then we went back. So after you shoot the pilot, then you go back to LA, as was, and you, um, as was, I mean, it still exists. Basically, that's what we did because we shot outside of LA, we came back to LA, and then you're just waiting for like six to eight weeks to find out what the studios and the networks are gonna pick up. So as an actor, you don't work for those six weeks because nobody's gonna hire you because you're in contract yeah, if this pilot yeah. gets picked up. Yep. So we basically both had six weeks of playtime and it turned out we lived down the road from each other. And we, we had each... both lived, I no longer live there, but at the time you yeah. lived on the same road, on yeah. the same block that I had just moved away from like yeah. a year or two so ago. Not, so you knew the area and knew, knew it everything. Like... And I'd only just moved in. With the area and knew it everything. Like... And I'd only just moved in. Um, anyway, so we were both in LA, no auditions that we could go on, had a bit of money in our back pocket because we'd just booked this pilot, which I then promptly lost, but that's a story for another time probably. Um, and then we just started like hanging out every day and it'd be like, hey, do you want to grab lunch? Because, you know, yeah, other do you friends wanna, are auditioning like, or at work. Yeah, do you want to like go get some guacamole and hey, some margaritas? Wanna... Yeah, that's what it turned into. We'd yeah. start with like brunch and then it was like, we'd have a three hour brunch. It'd be like, well, do you want to go for margaritas and guac at Al Compadre on Sunset? It'd be like, sure. And then it turned into like 10 p.m. It's like, all right, well, I'll see you later. Should we just go to Santa Barbara and go wine tasting? Yeah, that's what you would say all the time. We'd just be driving. Let's like just go to Vegas. Say, hey, should we just go? But the thing that was amazing is we could because we had nothing yeah. that we could do. Yeah. And yeah. That we could do. Yeah, anyway. and, I, and I just discovered amazing deals. Uh, yeah, you were just getting into hotels and deals and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, and you probably wanted to impress this very lovely lady. My best, oh my gosh, we're an almost finished. My best thing from this is you kind of met me as an American that wore Calvin Klein shift dresses because that's what my character wore. Only wore like navy and black, really. And then in real life, you, I, I kind of drew you in with that, which is your aesthetic, I'd say. And then it turned out I'm a Brit that, although this is very mute, but loves a print, a neon, and you know, maybe not sensible shift dresses. So if you hadn't have met me like that, who knew? Who knows? I would have reeled you in and up. Anyway, so. we met on April the 1st, 2012. It was and meant to be. We're still together, it was meant to be. Yeah. The end. Thanks, Jess, for your question. Thanks, Jess. Ready? Just look forward and do it, ready? One, two, three. Thanks oh. for watching, have a great week.